everybody, Kyle at Outlaw Harley-Davidson here, and this is your 2021 Road Glide Special. So color options for this year, you're gonna get the same colors in both chrome and black dot finishes. You got Vivid Black, you got Billiard Teal, Midnight Crimson, and then you have your uh, Billiard Red and your Vivid Black with the Harley-Davidson down the sides of the bags. And then you also have your Snake Venom, which has been a hot color for 2021 and probably the most sought after out of everything. Um, Benefits of the Road Glide though, guys. I mean, there's there's all kinds of reasons people choose the Road Glide over the Street Glide, as well as the reasons that you would choose a Street Glide over a Road Glide. But I do know that a lot of your taller uh, taller guys and taller individuals are gonna love the Road Glide Special because the fairing sits back off of the tank, uh, giving you the appearance of a bigger motorcycle. So it almost gives you more room without really giving you more room. Um, you don't need to reach out and touch the touch screen, obviously, because you have all your hand, hand controls uh, and you're able to move around on the screen. So that really shouldn't be an issue. But if you do want to reach out and touch the touch screen, the guys with the longer arms are usually the taller guys anyway. So it kind of matches up to that body type. Um, and I see a lot of taller, taller individuals go with the Road Glide Special just based off that. Uh, another big reason that the Road Glide is uh, you know, kind of the way to go is because it's better on the highway with that fixed fairing. You're not gonna get any bar buffeting at all. Uh, so when the wind hits your fairing, you're just gonna maybe feel it affect the bike and you have the two vents on either side of the headlight to help with that uh, con wind control and keeping the bike under control on a windy day. Um, so if you guys are you know, traveling out to Colorado from Kansas City where we're at, and you're in Western Kansas on a, on a hot summer day and that south wind from Mexico is just blowing as hard as it can, 30 mile an hour, you're really gonna be nice and stable down the highway um, all the way out to your destination wherever it is in Colorado. And that's just kind of a uh, you know, certain instance that that might help you out. But some other benefits of the Road Glide is the storage. On the other side, I get a lot of people with the Street Glide that say that they need a bigger pocket for their phone. Well. On the Road Glide, you get your USB on the right-hand side, and then you have uh, the DC plug-in over on the other side, your, your old standard cigarette lighter plug-in, uh, and you have storage over there as well. And they're nice big pockets, so you can fit just about any, any size phone in there that you need to. Um, another big benefit, guys, is the LED headlights. The, no, this fairing does not turn with your handlebars, so your headlights don't go, but you, that's why they give you two LEDs and they updated that back in 2015 when they redesigned the Road Glide from the first era to the second era. And you get LEDs with, with that setup now. And when you go into a corner, uh, you're already gonna have light to either side. So the, the turning of the handlebars uh, really doesn't affect your vision into corners. Another big benefit of those two LED headlights is when you're on a dark highway at night that does not have any street lights you light up ditch to ditch. So instead of just kind of lighting up right down where you're headed, uh, you're lighting up a swath of light out in front of you and definitely makes you more visible at nighttime as well when a car's coming at you down the road. So guys, six gallon tanks come standard on these touring bikes, just like on your Street Glide Special. And actually from the neck of this motorcycle back, it's the same motorcycle. So if you swap fairings with a Road Glide and a Street Glide, it makes the other one the other model and vice versa. So um, guys, you're looking at basically what you could say is the same bike. It's just all the difference in the fairings. Uh, and I see different people make different choices based on who they are and what they're doing all the time. Guys, the cool thing about these touring bikes, especially the special models, always gonna get your 114 with the six speed transmission, puts down plenty of power. Uh, all you guys know that are watching these videos, I ride the 114 Lowrider S and it's a great motor. Big, big fan. I've sold hundreds of these things uh, and next to no issues. And obviously any issues you would have would be covered under a factory warranty if you do purchase a new motorcycle. So um, plenty of storage. You get your stretch saddle bags. You get the 19 inch, 18 inch rear wheel. Uh, but guys, basically getting the same exact thing that you get with a Street Glide Special just with your Road Glide fairing on it. All right, guys, so now we're gonna get this thing out there on the road. Uh, I'm gonna put gear up, take it out on our test ride route that I know you guys are familiar with, talk about how comfortable I am, how I feel on the motorcycle, uh, and just generally give you an idea of what it's like 
to ride one of these new Roguelide specials. Test ride review on 2021 Road Glide Special. Here we go. All right. So it is mid July. Sun just came out, and it's going to be a hot one today. So we're. Uh, Doing the test ride review on a Road Glide Special. Obviously, why you clicked on our video. So, just want to give you guys a little taste of what riding a Road Glide is like out on the road. Get into some curves, get into some stoplights. You know, just go on a little uh, adventure. See what we run into. Hate this corner. Of course, come flying through that little diamond thing up there. You just never know. Got to be careful. All right. So you can see back there at that stoplight, pretty comfortable, easy, well balanced. Uh, hear a lot of guys talk about being worried about a road glide being top heavy or front heavy and. I mean, maybe a little bit compared to a street glide, but for me, it's not an issue. I think for most guys, uh, as long as they give the road glide a fair shot, um, you know, it's it's not nearly as bad as what they're what they're thinking. Um, I think it's a very well balanced motorcycle. It's got a tire pressure warning. My rear is 40, so that's okay. Front is 35. Should be 36 in the front, 40 in the rear, so not off very much. Not too worried about that. So for a lot of you, you guys are probably looking at this video and looking at the Street Glide special video that we did earlier this year, and you're comparing the two, because that's, you know, if you're shopping for a touring bike of, if you're shopping for a Road Glide, you should always look at a Street Glide. If you're shopping for a Street Glide, you should always look at Road Glides too, because you're basically getting the same features, um, bike to bike. I mean, it's basically the same thing, it's just the difference in fairing. You know, bat wing obviously attached to your bars, single round headlight moves with your fairing, or moves with your fairing, bars are attached to the fairing. So, with the road glide, you're exactly the opposite. You got two square headlights, LEDs, no matter what model you buy, standard, special, LEDs come standard on a road glide. That's one thing I love about the road glide is the lighting in the front. Um, you know, on the street glide, you get the round headlight. They just updated the specials this year to LED LED day makers, but uh, in years previous, that was not uh, was not something that they gave you with the specials. So only came on your CVOs. So it used to be a big benefit of buying the road glide is you get the LED lighting uh, with the special models. So or with the standard models too. I apologize. Where with the special on the street glide, you gotta gotta update that. So, um, you know, for me the road glide, it just handles a little bit better, guys. Um, the street glide does feel like a little bit more compact bike, but for me, anyways, they both feel almost almost identical. Um, it's just kind of, you know, with the street glide, you get hand protection from the fairing don't really get much of that with the road glide but your hands are kind of inside this wind bubble 
you can put your hand out in front of your gauges out in front of your tank and your body here and there's no wind right here uh, you can feel the wind a little bit through the vents if you go up but that's the great thing about the road glide is man it just cuts the wind like a knife you know so don't really feel that with the street glide you know you don't feel like you're cutting through the wind um, you know for me the street glide feels like you're kind of catching the wind but Road gliding some curves handles amazingly. Uh, you know, it's middle of July, and this past weekend, Kyle Wyman actually won Battle of the Baggers on the 2021 Road Glide. And uh, he didn't just win, man, he demolished the competition at Laguna Seca. It was it was very impressive to watch somebody ride a motorcycle like that. And not only that, ride a Harley Davidson touring bike like that, man. Um, super impressive. But one of the many reasons that they picked the Road Glide Special to build off of the, the Screaming Eagle team at Harley Davidson, the racing team, is because of the fixed fairing. Um, you know, you don't you don't get any wind resistance, and at speed, it's going to handle much much better than than what you would see a street glide handle. Um, you know that that's just that's just basic science, and I'm certainly not a scientist, so I'm not trying to speak above my knowledge level by any means. But you know, for me, it's just it's just basic common sense that. If your fairings attached to your bars, might not handle it as well in windy conditions and at speed. If it's not attached to your bars, it will, you know. So, um, you know, the Street Glide Special and the Street Glide alone has been your best selling Harley for a long, long time, guys. But your Road Glide Special, you know, it's quickly catching up. To be in the Me Too bike, hey, I got a, I got a Street Glide. Oh, Me Too. Well, there's a lot of guys that are saying that about the Road Glide now, you know. And when I first started in this business, you know, five years ago, um, we were selling, you know, a lot of Street Glides and not a whole lot of Road Glides. But you're really seeing that, that ratio starting to kind of almost even out. Um, road Glides are hard to keep in stock, guys. So, uh, especially with the way Harley's cut production over the past couple years, you know, this year has been, it, it's been a crazy year because it's so hard to find certain bikes in certain colors and certain options, whether it's chrome or, you know, blacked out. It's like a blacked out robot special is, is a unicorn this year. But uh, I digress, you know, the Road Glide for me, it's probably what I would purchase if I were looking at the two motorcycles, the Street Glide and the Road Glide, uh, simply because I like the looks. A lot of guys don't like the looks of the Road Glide. Uh, they say it looks, you know, looks funny, doesn't look like a Harley. I think it looks great. And I think it, uh, the lines definitely, for me, it definitely looks like a Harley, man. Um, and it is pure Harley Davidson. I mean, Willie G designed this. This was his baby. And, uh, you know, I mean, if there's somebody I'm going to listen to about Harley Davidson motorcycles that knows what they're talking about, it would probably be Willie G. So, you know, uh, he took this thing to what it is, and it's it's turned into what it is now just from his inspirations and, you know, him pushing this motorcycle so hard but there's a reason that he believed in it you know and, and a lot of it is this fixed bearing design you know he knew it would handle better so uh, he was a believer in it you know and uh, for me I'm a believer in it too the LED lighting guys obviously it's you know bright and sunny out you can't see it right now but if this was if this was a dark 
section of street, you would this this bike will light up a swath. It'll light up from curb to curb um, as far as the two LEDs. So you know you're, you're brighter in traffic. You can see better in front of you. And really, man, for these things being as heavy as they are, and traffic coming to a stop, they're not front heavy. You know, I don't really feel any of that at all. It's very well balanced. My feet are firmly planted. Um, and I'm big enough that I feel, you know, I feel like I'm visible out here. People definitely see me. So, all positives when you're thinking about uh, possibly buying a Roguelide Special. Another great thing about the Rogue Life, guys, is the posture. Um, you know, I'm about six foot, 150 pounds soaking wet. Uh, just for reference for you guys on, on what my size is, but you see bigger guys take a liking to the Rogue Glide simply because it looks like you have more room in front of you. With a straight glide, the fairing definitely sits a lot closer to you, so. Um, you know, I, I can tend to feel a little bit slouched on a street glide, but on a road glide, I, I am in a super comfortable riding position, and I could really, uh, I really feel like I could sit like this all day long. Um, and that's the, that's the point, you know, when you're looking at taking a long trip on a touring bike, you want to be able to sit there for an extended period of time. Um, and I definitely like the stock bar position of the road glide versus the stock bar position of a street glide. Um, definitely more comfortable, if for me anyways. So, All right, get going here. It is a warm, warm day. And it's only going to get warmer. It's only, I think it's just after 11.30. Yep, 11.44. So, um, you know, everybody that's from Kansas City knows that good old July heat and humidity. Uh, we're definitely going to get a taste of that today. Probably be a busy day at the dealership. That's why I'm trying to knock this video out in the morning so I can be there to assist my brothers. There's your ABS kicking in. I was starting to accelerate and came to a nice easy stop so ABS works um, you know one nice thing about these bikes is they come with all the safety features that you need the RDRS system cornering enhanced ABS cornering enhanced traction control um, RDRS also gives you the rain mode which is going to amplify those two features the ABS and the traction control and it's going to uh, not allow your rear tire to slip when in a hard throttling situation. It's going to dump down your power a little bit so you don't ever break loose. And um, you know, a lot of those features on this motorcycle were uh, developed off of systems that they were putting on things like the Live Wire and the the Pan America. They knew they were going to need those things when they got into those markets. So. Um, it was just natural for them to bring that bring the, that same feature to their Harley Davidson touring bikes and their core product as well. Um, you know, awesome, awesome steps forward from Harley Davidson over the past just three years, four years, really. I mean, since I've been with them in '17, they've uh, come miles, guys. Getting on the highway, this thing has all the power I would ever, ever need, no doubt about it. Um, super stable going down the highway, too. I, I feel like I'm uh, not getting beat up, you know, and it's a windy day. You guys can see that American flag out in front of me. I'm going to get past this guy. Passing power, all you would ever need. I never got up into sixth gear, it was still in fifth when I went to pass him, but had all the power I needed to get on past that guy and get back over into my lane. And 
stable. It's windy. Like I said, you can see the flags. The heat from the south is, is being blown in, and uh, that's what's going to make it so hot and humid today. But I feel one-handed, safe, and secure going down the highway. I can put it in cruise control, put my hands behind my head if I wanted to. So obviously not going to do that for safety reasons. But, um, you know, great motorcycle going down the highway. And really, a great motorcycle no matter what you're doing out there. If you guys are riding, you know, stoplight to stoplight and just want a nice big bike to, you know, be comfortable on, ride two people on, this is a great option. If you guys are doing trips, um, this is the best option. Uh, you know, for me, on a long trip, this fixed bearing is really, really going to show itself off in how comfortable and how tired you are over a duration of a trip and not only that how much energy you have left when you get where you're going um, you know am I going to be able to go out and have dinner and stuff like that or am I just going to be ready to go to my hotel and get to sleep you know um, on a road glide and, and I'm sure you could you'd be just fine on a, on a street glide too but I just think you're going to be more comfortable and less wind blown on a road glide but um, you know I hope you guys do your due diligence if this is a bike that you're looking at definitely consider the street glide too because that's a great great motorcycle and a great option um, the road glide special is just your like your your brother your twin brother but not identical twins you know they're um, the same motorcycle just different different fairings different faces so um, definitely a functional motorcycle another great thing real quick before I get back to the dealership the storage you get better storage for your phone and keys and stuff like that on a on a road glide versus a street glide that has the one pocket you know so you get a little bit better storage out there in front of you um, which is always a great thing with that I'd say if you guys are looking or considering it a road glide special definitely get out there local dealership outlaw Harley Davidson uh, preferably obviously um, but test ride these things man get out there experience it for yourself because um, that's really the only way you're going to know if it's the right motorcycle for you. With that, guys, that's all I got. Uh, I really appreciate you joining me. I need a couple favors, though. You know how it goes. Smash that subscribe. Hit that like button. Uh, that way, when we got new stuff coming at you, you're going to be the first ones to know about it. We'll see you next time.